Hey, welcome to our episode of Chad's Beer Reviews, continuing with all macro beer review month. Tonight we got the Pride of New York, Jenny Cream Ale. Um, cream Ale and Steam Beer, or California Common, are like the only two styles of beer that are truly, truly American, that were invented in America. I mean, you can make the argument about, you know, like American IPA and Black IPA and stuff like that, but Cream Ale and steam beer the only ones technically that we can claim to and Jenny cream ale is probably one of the more well-known examples of the cream ale style I'm not saying it's one of the best examples of the style it's probably just one of the most popular ones this is a very boring can there's nothing on here at all except for the Surgeon General's warning and all that stuff I had to look it up it's 5.2 ABV I don't know what malts and hops and all that stuff that they use in it Although I get, to, I gotta say it's a it's a good looking beer, you know. Like that's truly, that's truly gold. You, know, you can see carbonation still coming up. It the head was up, you know, crowding over the uh, the rim of the glass. But you know, the time it takes me to shoot, you know, pour the beer, shoot it, get all this set up. Anyway, so you know, uh, let's get to the aroma here. Yeah, this is it's very it smells. It smells like an adjunct lager. I mean, it smells exactly the same. It has like that kind of slight kind of metallic-y aroma to it and, you know, distinct corn. It's not it's not very aromatic. It's not off-putting. Like, I'm not smelling this and being like, oh, yeah, it's, it's all right. So let's give it a taste. Cheers. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, it's it's similar to the <clears throat> you know your Bud Miller course, but it has like a distinct smoother smoother delivery on this one. I mean, it has sort of like a creamy texture to it. I forget where the the name cream ale comes from. I think it's something to do with the the brewing process. <clears throat> it's not literally made with cream, like a cream set or something like that. Um, for the most part, it's actually really similar to, to, you know, adjunct lager. In fact, I've noticed it's made with corn. Very light palate, very, you know, very mild, a little bit of like metallic kind of flavor to it that has that, that kind of corn corn taste to it maybe a hint of butter in there you know it's actually if you're drinking like that you're like hey it tastes like corn on the cob it's not sharp there's like a tiny little bit of tang on the finish but for the most part it's it's very very clean. Let's see if we can get some more top off the uh, can here. Yeah, now you got. Look at that head. That's what she said. I'm trying to get to the foam here. I was hoping for a foam mustache. Um, yeah, this beer is... It's not good, but it's its not terrible either. I forgot that I, me and uh, Kevin Burns from the Foaming Head reviewed this way, way back in the summer of 2010. This is the first time I've ever had it. But, yeah, I've had this before. I mean, it's just one of those beers that comes around... It's very cheap. It, it extremely cheap. It was a dollar sixteen for this twenty-four ounce can. That's less than five cents per ounce. That's even cheaper than Budweiser. Budweiser was seven cents an ounce. Mm. Yeah, really, not much else to say on this one. I mean, it's just. It's very watery, it's very clean, it's very, you know, mild. It doesn't have that, it doesn't have like that 
overt lager taste to it. It's almost like a if you took a lager and gave it like more of like a wet texture. It doesn't really have and there's no like DMS or acetaldehyde like how the <clears throat> the Budweiser there's no green apple or butter on this one. I mean, a little bit of that kind of metallic flavor, but although I mean it's very very bland. It's not bad, but I don't know, not really a fan. Let is let's bring this up on right here. Aroma, uh, I mean there really is an aroma. I mean yeah, it's like a very generic lager, but even milder. Say five out of ten. Appearance, I like the appearance. I give it a four out of five. Taste again, it's very mild. No, nothing really good for it, but I'm gonna say five. Palette, um, I mean, it is really, really drinkable. It's only 5.2 BV. It's not as fizzy as most physio lagers, um, you know, very light bodied, but it's like, you know, it's very watery, very thin body. I'd probably give it a three on palette overall. And twelve out of twenty, I guess. That gives me a two point nine, which I think is a high three or low four on my scale. I'll tell you in a second here. Oh, go. Two point nine is a is a high four. Okay, yeah. I guess I agree with that. All right, so four out of ten for Jenny Cremail, you know. So, like I said, not bad, but it's, it's far from good. So, it's a good summer beer, and super cheap. So, if you need a cheap beer, this one's one of the more better, decent options. So, all right, so I'm rambling. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers.